Right here I've got a Cummins diesel engine and we're doing some coolant work. Let's say you're replacing the thermostat, the water pump. You wanna drain the coolant and just refill the coolant. To drain all the coolant from the radiator system, you're gonna to wanna to pull out the drain plug. And how you get to this drain plug is, first you're gonna take out this power steering bottle right here with one bolt, lay it to the side, and then you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a bucket like I've got down here. There's a bucket that we've got it draining into. And if you'll notice, this is a 17 millimeter, but there's a couple nubs on the side here. So you're not really gonna be able to get a socket on it like such. It's not gonna fit in all the way. I ended up using a pair of Knipex pliers right here, a small pair, that's a six inch pair. But you wanna be careful because this is plastic, so you don't wanna mar it up. And also you wanna catch it. You wanna make sure it doesn't fall out and drop and get lost in the frame rail somewhere. The coolant was hot, so in my particular case, I dropped the pliers and I dropped this piece right here. You can pop it out just a little bit and let it stay there and drain, but I preferred to take it all the way out so that all the coolant came out and rushed out fast. Now let me try to show you exactly where this thing is because it's still dripping down into that bucket. It's going to be that... It's hard to see down in there, but... It's going to be on the driver's side of the radiator, right below these... What lines are these? Power steering cooler lines, maybe? Oil cooler lines. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. This isn't my truck, so I'm not super familiar with it. But you're just going to have to get some type of tool. What I used was my Knipex pliers, and I put them down in here, and I gripped the side of this just right, and I spun it around a half turn or a quarter turn, and then I re-gripped, and I spun it around a little bit more, and then that's all it takes to drain your coolant out of your Cummins diesel engine. Maybe it applies for the gas engines as well. Tell me in the comments. Until next time, subscribe to Neptown Tuner. And real quick, just to put it back in, all you have to do is put it in by hand and screw it in a little bit, and then you're gonna have to snug it back up with your tool, with your pliers or whatever. You're gonna have to get in there and carefully grab it like such and just twist it in. It's not the easiest thing to get to. We also poured a little bit of extra water in this bottle to get it flushed all the way through. And if you do that, you're gonna be a little bit more diluted on the water side, but it's not gonna to amount to too much. I typically have a bad habit of grabbing my pliers first, but in my tool bag, I also have this stubby 17 millimeter. So that was how I really got it fixed back in there tight. With this small wrench, even though it had the two nubs on that one side, I was able to get this in here one way or the other and really make sure that it was snug and tight. All your coolant goes inside this radiator bottle. There is no traditional pressure cap on top of the radiator. The pressure cap is actually right here that screws on top of that bottle. It's a good idea to replace the pressure cap after a while because they do deteriorate. And that's what holds the pressure in the system. Right now we're bleeding it a little bit with the pressure cap open, with the bottle open. And it's self-bleeding. This hose right here, right here, is what burps the air into the bottle, as well as this one right here. So there's no need to open some bleeder screw or something like that. It bleeds itself, but it might take a while. It's also a good idea to park the vehicle on an incline if you could, with the nose of the vehicle up.